hello thank you for watching our video please subscribe to our channel click on the bell like and comment thank you very much god has raised this jesus to life and we are all witnesses of the facts exalted to the right hand of god he has received from the father the promised holy spirit and has poured out what you now see and hear now verse 36 therefore let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Beloved, the biblical accounts of Acts chapter 2 is all about the coming of the Holy Spirit on the first century church on the day of Pentecost. And Apostle Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, intentionally, spoke about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. And he projected Jesus as the Christ and the Lord. And so in verse 36, he said that, Therefore, let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Therefore, let all nations of the world, all the continents of the world, be assured that the crucified Jesus is both the Lord and the Christ. I humbly ask we be upstanding if you can as we worship Jesus who is both the Lord and the Christ. He is Lord. He is Lord.
For it was impossible for them to take you captive. Oh, Kabosha de Bakataya, you died, was buried, but on the third day, you understand that from the dead, you said that you have power to lay down your life and have power to take it again. Oh, Jesus our Lord, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. Jesus is 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 Lord.
Take a seat. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. Oh, Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords. He the King of Kings. Yes, sinners. Mm -hmm. Jesus, our Lord, who paid the price of our redemption. I want to thank you and bless you that on the third day you resurrected from the dead because if you had not resurrected, our faith would have been futile. Mm -hmm. But thank God that you resurrected. Yes. And therefore, our Christian love is built on your resurrection. We give you praise and bless your name because the Father has bestowed on you a name above every other name that at the mention of your name, Jesus. Every knee will bow of things in the heavens, things in this earth, and things under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Christ Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. We give you praise and worship you, even now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, Pastor. Chairman, it's time to celebrate the goodness of the Lord through songs of praise. On that note, I request the voice of Pentecost to come and lead us through a time of praise. You are the Lord that deserves our worship. You are the Lord we praise. All nations bow before you in worship. Your 